Seasonal jobs are a really big boost to those that are looking to work. Monica De La Garza with the Workforce Solutions, the Coastal Bend, joins us with our labor market report. Um, we're talking about the November numbers, and I know last time we, we yes. visited in December, we were talking about seasonal jobs, and we'll see how they're doing, but November is really kind of the beginning of all those exactly. hardcore Exactly, so seasonal. we won't really see any of the real numbers of where we are, like today, until, until the January numbers, so that's two months away, because yes. we'll be getting the December numbers next week. Yes. But right now, we're working with the November numbers, because they're the most current numbers that we have, and we saw a, a few slight increases okay. across the board. But here we go with the uh, breakdown by the counties. And this one is significant to us because you look over in the far right and you see all the red column mm -hmm. there, and that means that there were those slight increases. And then you have the green where, you know, it's compared to last year. We were down from last year. And so one of the things that we look at here is the unemployment number, the one that's kind of smack in the middle. Yes. Because those are the people we're looking for. With a low percent in unemployment, we're trying to find these people that are part of the labor force participation rate to get them back to work. Because so that's what we talk, there's so many jobs that are out there, yes. and then you see these numbers, and you're like, well, come on, there's jobs. Yes, so. and if we go to the next graphic, here's the workforce snapshot, and this one is also something that we look at, and it's indicative of what the economy is looking like here. Over 8,500 job postings for the Coastal Bend region, and mm -hmm. that's just workintexas.com, and that's our flagship website. And then we served over 6,000 job seekers. This is in November, so it tells you something that we're staying pretty active, but there's still a lot more work to be done exactly. as far as filling the jobs. And then, of course, um, here you see something that we ran. We just ended our annual report. That's right. And here, this is very interesting because this is the largest employers in the Coastal Bend region. And look who's up there at the top. The Independent School District, Corpus yes. Christi. Yes, and so you can see the breakdown there. And when you look at all those companies there, either we have a family member or a friend or somebody that That's works for connected. one of these organizations yes. here. And then on the next graphic, this is where we can see the actual monthly postings. Okay. So this is when you get right down into what is happening in our region as far as the job openings. So you see who's up there at the top, the heavy and tractor trailer truck drivers. That's a big one. And then right underneath that is registered nurses. So again, the industry sectors that we're following that are big for us here in this region, business, health care, professional skills and trades, yes. and public service. Okay, we're going to have to leave it at that. Oh, oh yeah. we have to do <laughs> Yes, we do. Yes, that's yes right. so this is a big one for us. We've been working with Starbucks, and they're having the big hiring event today in Kingsville. Uh, I wonder who you coordinated that one with. I wonder who. <laughs> My wife. Yeah, they're opening up the new store out there, so yes. it's really good for uh, the people that are working out there, and of course, the people going out to the base are going to love that massive oh, fit yes. stop there. So, yes. um, yeah, Monica, always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you so you very so much. much. We'll see you next month yes. with an update. All right. Okay.